Media at SAFM with Ashraf Gardner. Well, we started this last week, and we're doing it again because I think I like it. It allows us to get to many adverts. Um, we're going to run through a series of adverts uh, as per what I call the ad expert, expert as in ex- ad expert. And today it's the turn of Larry Kumalo, uh, who's the PR marketing and social media manager at Ornico, provides many of the adverts that we certainly flight on my Facebook page as well as on Twitter. So check them out sort of at the, on the website. That's Ornico itself. Uh, Larry, good, good, for good of you to come in. Hi. Hi, hi, Ashraf. All right. it's, it's good to be here. Indeed. Now, we've given you some adverts to pick out. Which one do you want to start with first? <laughs> um, let's start with the Debonair's advert. That's right. from uh, July. It's got um, kids in an art class, and they're supposed to do the Tower of Pisa. Mm-hmm. And one does a uh, stacking a, a Tower of pizzas okay <laughs> it's actually quite funny because it buys in into italy the home of pizza but it also buys into little kids who have more or less the purchasing decision in families uh when it comes to fast food so and, and, and the reality is many people still so certainly south africans do call pizza pizza I, yes. I hear it often. <laughs> absolutely absolutely um it was one of my finest from 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 debonair it's certainly better than their their facebook like ad mm-hmm. so this one definitely just did stand up why, why do you think this one works because it speaks to children, it speaks to people who love art, it speaks to parents and teachers. It it, it, it brings in the entire family all in just the one ad. So in that case, it stands but, out. But it me. also tells us children are the biggest decision makers when it comes to pizzas. I should know that. Absolutely, Isn't absolutely. Uh, parents walk into the house and they say, what are we having tonight? Fast food? The kids run pizza and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we know. Okay, you like that one. Next one? Yes. Um, the next one would be the BMW ad. Um, the one about uh, their communication system where it, the the car reads out emails to you as you're driving mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. this guy drives up to his driveway and his wife sends an email saying his mother is around. So mm-hmm. the moment he parks out and hears the email, he drives immediately out and then the wife emails and says, honey, where the beep are you going? Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. that also is quite funny. And BMW in that case is speaking to... Um, middle class people uh, married the perfect family with the crazy mother-in-law and two and a half children and it was quite funny too okay just by the way if you want to check out these adverts of course you can youtube them but uh, to make it easier uh, get them on my facebook page you'll find all of them as well as on twitter because you'll see the guys from onik have tweeted to me so check it on my timeline you'll find all the adverts and you can see them in real time and if you wish to comment on those adverts you can certainly do so as well anytime indeed i see steve morris has tweeted about to go on the safm media show steve <laughs> and you are about to go on any couple of minutes from now anyway right let, let's move on so that's the bmw how, how does that one work for the brand by the way uh, it certainly does work. I mean, it's 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 a shoe in for the BMW brand. It's an aspirational brand in South Africa, and um, it's cool. Not only is it a status brand, but it's also a very cool brand. So you have the young boy growing up um, in the township or wherever, and he's looking at that and he says, "I want that." And it gets embedded in his mind. And 20 years later, he has a wife and two and a half children and a crazy mother-in-law. He wants that BMW. So it <laughs> okay. certainly does work. Be my wife. I mean, that was the acronym that people <laughs> yes. used a long time ago, right? Uh, number three. Um, number three would be the Red Bull ad. Mm-hmm. Um, still in the Red Bull fashion of little um, animations, sort sketchy animations. Things, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. and it buys in to Olympics and Paralympics, uh, the rowing team, um, one team gives the other team um, uh, Red Bull and only gives them to give, gives Red Bull to the ones on the right, and and then they they, they start spinning in circles while the, the other one wins. Uh, very funny, uh, very Red Bully type. Mm. Is yeah. is that one a, a Red Bull South African advert or a global advert? It's a Red Bull South African advert. Um, the the team that wins is the team from Boxburg. Okay, <laughs> no, because so, yeah. because my my point there is. It, when I, when I watched it for the first time, mm-hmm. uh, and having met now some of the rowers who won that that gold medal, probably the most incredible race at the Olympic uh, at the Olympic Games, uh, suddenly the connection with rowing is even stronger. And so it's, it, it just it, it just works far far better, and it's very impactful. That uh, absolutely. I mean, it was also quite incredible to see the nation stand together during Olympics. I mean, uh, you'd go to restaurants, and everybody would be glued onto their screens. Every viewing point that was there, people were mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So it, it was a good buy, and it's it's sort of the traditional let's ride the hype while it's still there okay. and it certainly works so you like that too right how Absolutely. many more to go one or two um we've got um the kia serato ad okay talk to me about that um, one it's uh it's a radio ad and I, I remember at one of our ad forum events uh, uh one of the things we spoke about was that uh, radio uh, car ads are are looking um out for the feminine 
uh, uh, from, from the market. So no more the hard graph masculine mm. ads, but mm. more soft and feminine. And this one certainly buys into that. It's about Rapunzel and she cuts off her hair and the Prince Charming comes on with, <laughs> with a pair of ladders and, and the witch dies and Prince Charming oh. gets her. I think I've got the sound for that advert. Let's see if we get that. That's a radio advert, right? Uh, do, you, do you just want to check with Phineas in fact if it, if it does have it? Uh, okay, that's the, that's the Kia one, right? It's a radio yeah. advert. Let's just see if you guys can pick it up on this one there. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, called the witch. Down came Rapunzel's locks and the witch started climbing higher and higher. Then Rapunzel took out scissors. Look what I found, she said, and cut off her hair, just as the prince arrived with a ladder. Never underestimate a pretty face. With rear parking assist system, active headrests and ABS, the Kia Serato Coupe is as smart as it is beautiful. Visit a Kia dealer or kia.co.za to book a test drive. Okay, you like the soft sell, then? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, Kia's uh, uh, is becoming a really pretty brand. They released uh, a whole new range of of Kia's, and I think this ad certainly carries their new image. Absolutely. Okay. And talking about women, let's go to first. <laughs> let's go to first for women. First for women. Uh, the tagline is "Men are douchebags, so we will not insure <laughs> them." <laughs> <laughs> and, and they've been very successful at that because I think one of the things statistically it proves that women are in fact better drivers and therefore can be insured at a lower premium. Right, that, that's the facts. Absolutely, but uh, of course we all know a lot of men who'll say no to that. <laughs> no, but I'm not arguing. I mean, the statistics prove it. Proves it. Let, let's play the ad, but it's for TV. Let's see if we can pick up some other sound. Hey, host. You know, if you put a mincemeat in cold drink, it explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the thing on YouTube. I think it's top six. Tops. So, if I have a mincemeat in cold drink and drink it, you think I'll explode? Nothing. All right, let me just uh, fill in the blanks there. Um, it's it's the one message that uh, First for Women has managed to champion throughout all their ads. It's it's guys do stupid things when they're together. Um, I remember one of their old ads was guys who were reversing all the way to Cape Town. So this one, it's a group of guys talking about mints and cold drink, and at the end the guy explodes, and every opening in his body is is cool drink and mint coming out it's very funny and i i think a lot of women will identify okay. with it now just quick quick one we got in, in 30 seconds mm -hmm. what i also found interesting is that that advert is is played out by people of sort of asian or indian descent right and, yes. and generally when it comes to minorities they tend to play out in stereotypes this is not the case on this one they just played out as there could be five guys watching rugby it, and they're getting up to how, how significant is that it, it it could be anyone i mean uh, they are looking at at it universally so everybody could could identify with it whether indian descent or black or white um and they're they're not doing the stereotypical uh, uh, minority stuff that you would expect them to do so it's just guys doing what guys do Total mm. douchebags, according to First Four. Okay, nothing but that alone. They probably deserve uh, some award for that one there. That's where we're going to leave it. Just give us your thoughts if you want to just SMS me uh, whether any of those adverts are hits or, or misses. But you can also check it out on my Facebook page as well as on Twitter, Ashraf Garda 1. Larry, thanks for your time. Thank you Indeed, very much, Larry Ashraf. Kumala from uh, Ornico, providing some of the uh, material for the adverts that we play on the show.